The Bonneville County Sheriff's Office got an upgrade over the weekend thanks to the community. Local News 8's Cole Sounds has more on the new equipment that will help better protect them when danger strikes. It was a ceremonial night here at Water Springs Church where the congregation paid tribute to Bonneville County deputies who are receiving new bulletproof vests for their whole department. The man behind the new equipment is Shield 616 founder Jake Skifstead, who was inspired to start the nonprofit after being involved in two active shooter situations during his 14 years as a police officer in Colorado Springs. We as law enforcement are expected to protect our community from whatever threat comes our way, but if it's involving a rifle, you know, we didn't have that protection. And this new equipment will help to provide that protection. What I have here in front of me is called Angel Armor, and they make just amazing lightweight rifle rated armor. And this plate's actually been shot five different times. So you can see, you know, the bullet holes in there, and then, you know, on the back, you can see the bumps, you know, the, the, trying to go through the plate. Bonneville County Sheriff Sam Hulse says Shield 616 helped to finance the armor through donations made here in the community. And here at Water Springs Church, those who helped make the armor possible got the chance to interact with the men and women who protect and serve them. And so a way to help us equip that armor and also to an involve, in, involve our community in a way that they get to meet the deputies that they're equipping with the armor. So it makes it personal. It makes it personal for what's going on. To help raise money, bicyclists took to their bikes almost 400 miles over four days for Shield 616's first annual Idaho border-to-border -border bike ride, a long journey that Sheriff Hulse got to take part in. It's intense. Uh, you know, obviously we're coming across the entire state of Idaho. It's actually something I never thought I would be capable of, but you know, as I kind of spoke about in there, with a team around you, you can accomplish a lot of things, most things. Another participant in the bike ride was Pizza Pie Cafe owner Jane Smith, who wants the law enforcement here in Bonneville County to know that the community stands behind them. They need to know that this community stands behind them. They really do. So that was our number one thing. We're with them. And now those men and women will have that extra security when out in the field. No matter what situation they're in, whether they're going to do a shooting or not, whether they know it or not, they're going to have that protection. So it's just going to give them the highest level of protection during their whole shift to keep them safe while they're out there. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Cole Sams.